Let us learn how to create this four quadrant infographic where on a click you can explain each of the quadrants in style. As you can see, as I click to the next slide, the previous one gets back to its original size. So at each point, I only have focus given to just one quadrant of the four. And once I finish my explanation, I can get them back to the original infographic. It's a very easy slide design to create. I'll show you how to do that in a step-by-step -step way in this video. So watch this video till the end. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you want to receive 25 creative presentation ideas that you can use in your next presentation, then please click on the link in the description box below the video and join this five day free email course. Let's get back to the video. Step one, go to auto shapes gallery from basic shapes, pick up this diamond tool, hold the shift button down and draw a diamond shape like so. Press control D to create a duplicate and place this right below the previous one. Allow a little bit of space between the two and then select both of them, align center, press Ctrl G to create a group, Ctrl D to create a duplicate, rotate right and then select both of them, align center, align middle and make sure that they are somewhere in the center of the slide and then ungroup them. Now we have got four quadrants of the same size. Then give each of them a distinct color. Then insert four icons so they are placed inside each of these quadrants. I'm choosing the ones from communication set. I'm going to move them to the side so it is easy for me to access them. Hold the shift button down and reduce the size like so. So all the icons get resized at the same time and then we can place this right inside these quadrants. Step one done. Right click duplicate slide. Then take the first one, which is the top quadrant and increase the size while holding the shift button down. Make sure that the size is something that you can remember. In this case, I'm going to choose eight centimeters by eight centimeters and then move it in such a way that it is placed exactly where it is supposed to be. So it looks as if this particular quadrant has increased in size. Now hold the shift button down and move it to the top like this and then write your text let me choose a bold font and increase the size, fold it and then place it somewhere over here and make sure that the alignment is to the center. Now I'm going to write my text here. This is for the explanation for the first quadrant. Then right click duplicate slide. Now delete this, this, this and this. Now go to the first slide, pick these two elements. Press Ctrl C to copy, then go back to this slide, press Ctrl V so we can place them back here. Now this time I'm going to expand this quadrant. You know the size, it is eight centimeters by eight centimeters. And I'm going to place it in such a way that it feels as if this particular quadrant has expanded. Now I'm going to hold the shift button down and move this so it is somewhere in the right corner. I'm going to copy the exact same text instead of wasting my time trying to recreate my text. I'm going to place this somewhere over here. If you feel the size is too much, you can always reduce the font size. I'm going to change the font size to 28 instead of 32 and I'm going to place it over here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for this one as well, reduce the size to 28. So there is consistency in the font sizes. Now we need to copy this text as well. So this explains this particular quadrant. Since we are going to apply morph transition to these slides, we don't want PowerPoint to understand that it is the same text that is moving around. So we want to give a little bit of a change in terms of the text element here. So I'm going to say one here and I'm going to add hyphen one here. The change here is going to be that this will be two and this is two. Now, whenever you create your own presentation, you automatically will choose different text for each of these elements. Since we are creating a template, we need to use this kind of a trick. Duplicate slide, you repeat the exact same process. We don't need any of these. Delete, go back to the first slide, pick these elements, press Ctrl C and then press Ctrl V. So it reverts back to its original size. And then we are going to make this into eight by eight centimeters and place them exactly where the quadrant belongs. You know the drill, move this while holding the shift button down to somewhere around the bottom corner and then select one of these text elements, press Ctrl C to copy and then press Ctrl V to paste. I'm just trying to save some time here. I'm going to change this to three and we are going to have our explanation, press Ctrl C and then press Ctrl V and maybe I can place this to the right and make sure that the alignment is to the right. 
and we are going to change this to three right click duplicate slide remove all these elements pick these and paste them here and let us expand this which is the last quadrant eight centimeters by eight centimeters and place it properly then hold the shift button and then move it to the corner and then select this text paste it in the right place and call this four if you feel that the contrast is not sufficient for the font you can always choose a much brighter color you can do the same thing for the icon color as well i'm not going into those subtleties because i understand that you can choose all those colors yourself and make this clearly readable let me take the last text element here press ctrl v and then i'm going to place it over here and let us have this as four now i'm going to make a copy of the first slide and paste it again in the last place now let us select all of the slides apply morph transition let us go to the first slide and go to slideshow and let us see the magic on the first click the first quadrant expands once we finish explaining the first quadrant you can see that the first quadrant comes back to its original size and the second quadrant is given prominence then on the next click the second one goes back to its original size and the third one expands once i finish explanation i go to the fourth one explain and once i finish explaining all the four quadrants i can get them back to the original four quadrant graphic which is the anchor infographic if you liked this morph transition trick then you will really love this playlist we have put together for you which allows you to learn even more about morph transition and how to creatively use it to engage your audience so click on the link that you see right now on your screen and watch the first video in the playlist i'll see you inside that video